Hello. First off, something of an apology. I'm sorry that I haven't posted many videos of late. Really, the biggest problem is, is a feeling of being overwhelmed by the news. I have, for example, a long and quite involved piece on health and social care, which has been scripted for a number of months. Nothing materially was changed as well by the government's announcement of what it was going to do, a yet another oven-ready deal, to resolve the problem of health and social care in this country. I just need to commit it to video, and I have to say that has been rather difficult over the last few months. The other thing, of course, continues to be the mess that is Brexit, uh, the UK's total inability to negotiate in good faith with anybody, the continuation of cakeism, where we can leave the EU but still have all the benefits of being within the EU, Lord Frost's ability to completely ignore that, Lord Frost's subsequent resignation because things aren't extreme enough, it would appear, Liz Truss marked up as his replacement, good Lord. You see, Nothing seems to want to dislodge the far-right loony section of the Tory party. It seems to be difficult to get those Brexit ultras out of the way. And of course the coronavirus is still going on. We are in the midst of a pandemic that has lasted in this country effectively since the end of February and there is still no clear resolution. That may be because COVID is going to become endemic. It will be something we will have to live with. Unfortunately, as we know, this government's response has always been too late, too slow. And then once restrictions have been put in place, it's always too quick to release them. And that has a negative consequence on later outbreaks. The other unfortunate part of coronavirus, and it is linked in to the far right headbangers within the Conservative Party as well, is that there is now a very substantial group of far right Tories in the Parliamentary Party whose belief is based upon no restrictions, let it rip. The far right of the party has become a death cult. Whether it be a piece of cloth across the face, the possibility of vaccine mandates, or at least proof of regular testing for many day-to-day -day venues, they seem unable to break away from the idea that nothing but nothing must impinge upon their personal freedom. The irony, of course, is that these are the same death cultist Tories, libertarians to a man or woman, who have been busy voting for some thoroughly anti-libertarian acts put in place by the current Conservative government. Specifically, the recent policing bill and the borders bill, both of which have highly contentious authoritarian clauses within those acts which seek to remove a significant amount of freedoms from people. Unfortunately, it seems that the general public remains unaware of what's going on. Their cheerleaders in the media, although apparently losing some enthusiasm for Brexit as it's being pursued, seem unable to take the party that they've been supporting to a ludicrous degree to task for what are some thoroughly alarming clauses. That being said, it does look as though we are going to get a Christmas this year. Although what the consequences may be for immediately after Christmas and into the new year, who knows? The Conservative cabinet led by Boris Johnson has taken a massive gamble, and it really is a gamble, based on slim evidence that the new Omicron variant is less serious, even though it transmits far more readily even than Delta. And indeed, it seems the cabinet at the last meeting was split down the middle. Johnson, already struggling to maintain any authority within his party anymore, again, see right-wing conservative headbangers, um, has struggled to impose any authority and will continue to struggle. I think the only reason why we have no restrictions now 
despite the fact that SAGE, Independent SAGE and many other experts are saying there really did need to be better measures put in place sooner, is that he simply has not got the confidence to be able to put it through Parliament. Indeed, just before Christmas, he was only supported in his Plan B measures proposed by the Labour Party with over a hundred Conservative MPs basically voting against their own government for various reasons it is true not all of them were the headbangers but basically his majority disappeared. He looks a broken figure he deserves to be ousted whether the Conservatives will do that and again who indeed is going to be any more empathetic and acceptable to the Conservative Party in its current dangerous frame of mind is an open question. I will wish you a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a Happy New Year. Stay safe if you can. There may be some good news on the horizon and it may be that Omicron is less harmful than forecast. But as I said, it is a gamble. Keep yourselves well and hopefully I'll put some material together in the new year. Until then, chin chin.